Hey guys, it's Maddie Simlish, and in today's video, I'm going to be testing out 10 building tips, tricks, and hacks for The Sims 4. Um, I'm not claiming credit for any of these. Where possible, I have shown where I got the idea from and I have linked the creators down below. So definitely check out their social medias for more tips just like these. Some of them are really, really creative. I could never think of them myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the video. So this first tip comes from Benji Plays Sims on Twitter. Do you guys ever use those city living murals to decorate kids' rooms? And to be honest, I've never used the city living murals full stop, so I thought this would be a cool idea to try out first. So I put them on both sides of the wall. They're quite big, so then they didn't fit on, on every wall. Um, and I also put one on the floor there, but something I've learned is that it takes a very long time to paint a mural. I was, I was waiting for ages and um, I had two guys on the go doing it. Uh, one had level 10 painting skill and one had level one, but they both turned out really nice. And um, I think it, it's just something I don't know, it's, it's really fun, it's it's really colourful, it's really bold uh, and I, th I think it works really great for a kids room. So yeah, overall I really liked this tip and I will definitely be using it again for future kids rooms that I build. So the red shelf is used by a number of different creators, but I first learnt to use it from Miss Griffey. So it's basically a piece of custom content that you can use, um, but you can delete it out once you're done using it. So when you upload your build to the gallery, it's not flagged for custom content, don't worry. But it's basically really useful when you have a shelf like this, but it has really limited slots to place items. Um, you can, like for example, with this one, you can only place one clutter item on that top bit of shelf, which I think is, is really, really strange. So basically what you do is you use that red shelf and with bb.move objects on, you can freely place the shelf on the same level as where you want to clutter, put your clutter items. Um, and then you just hold down alt and you can place the items anywhere you want as long as it's on that same level. So I think it's really nice to clutter up a room this way. It makes it feel a bit more lived in and homely. So tip number three comes from Abby Sims on YouTube and it is to create a custom bath and shower. This idea is super simple, it's really really easy to do but it just, it's just a little bit different and I feel like when, when you've been building in The Sims for a long time all your rooms start to uh, look the same essentially so um, this is just a way to, to vary it up, add, a, add something a little bit interesting. So we have kind of like a bump out to put the bath. And then we actually use curtains as shower curtains just by drawing a little wall there. Um, and I think, I think it looks really good. I think it also looks a bit more closer to houses in real life, which is always nice. Um, and the tip used a bath, but I also tried it with a shower because why not? And I think it worked just as well. So again, this is another tip that I will definitely be using again in the future.
So tip number four comes from Marmalade, who is an incredible builder. It's crazy. Like their videos claim that they don't use custom content and you're watching it and you think you must have used custom content. There's no way that you can build this just from Sims 4 items, but it's true. They genuinely make such nice stuff just from EA items you never thought was possible. So I do actually use another one of their tips um, at the end of this video as well. But for now, we're just doing this super fancy bathroom mirror. So it's just like a nice big mirror. I think they're spa day, those sort of light up mirrors. Um, and then just using the tiny living sink and cabinets to create a little double sink moment going on. Um, and then just having a live, what do you call it? Plant, live plants, plant, plant bed. I'm not sure, but basically plants growing out of the counters. They used a different one to me, but I did want to try and change it up a bit. And um, yeah, this one looks really cool. So the next tip is a bit of a general one. I'm not sure who came up with this in the first place, but I know quite a lot of people use it. And that is to create sunroofs in Sims builds. Uh, I know you need to use the half gabled roofs and then those little triangle roofs, and then basically separate your roof into different parts. So instead of just creating one big roof, you create lots of different sections of roofs and then one of those sections you basically make it a glass roof because we've got those nice glass textures in the game uh, and then it turns it into a sunroof it's it's not the most complex but i always struggle with this one but eventually i got it and uh, i think it looks really good especially when you're inside the home and you get that little bit of light so definitely recommend this one So tip number six is about creating space underneath kitchen cabinets. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember who originally came up with this idea, which is really annoying. So if you know, please do let me know so I can credit them in the description box. But otherwise, uh, you basically just put a dishwasher underneath a cabinet and then size it down and it creates this little space for clutter, for storage, basically for whatever you want. Uh, I just used a little cleaning bucket and a little wash basket and I think it, I don't know, it looks a bit more realistic this way. I think, you know, just cluttering underneath the, the cabinet spaces. So it's just something a little bit different. So tip number seven is to clutter with debug. Again, a lot of people use this tip, but I just thought I would mention it because honestly, it is so useful. If you just text search for debug and then click one of the options, you are given this huge list of objects. And basically to access it, you just click Control Shift C to open up the cheat menu. And then you type in bb.show hidden objects. So what I did <laughs> and I don't recommend is I took whatever I thought was interesting and I just put it out um, and then used the red shelf to place it. But I remember reading online someone saying that they placed something and couldn't delete it, which I didn't quite believe. Um, but it happened to me and I was left with this tray of chocolate muffins, which I couldn't get rid of. So be warned. So tip number eight comes from a very, very talented builder, Kate Emerald, and that is to create curved paths. And I really liked this tip because it's not something that I've actually seen before, but you basically use these kind of curved corner rooms 
and create fences around them. It's, it's something quite unique, but one thing I did struggle with is you can't really delete the floor because it will delete the wall. So I tried to landscape and design this as best I could. Uh, but you guys can probably do a better job than me, but I definitely really liked the look of these. So the next tip I tested was another gem from K Emerald. Again, it's so easy, but I don't know how she ever thought about this, but it's basically creating round flower beds out of roofs. So you use those kind of pointy rounded roofs and then drag them down flat and they create great flower beds. Who knew? So this is, they clip a little bit, but this was just to demonstrate how you could use them. So the final tip I tried was another one from Marmalade and it's this modern fireplace and oh my god it looks amazing. This is what I was talking about when I said that you're convinced that it must be like a piece of custom content but it's not. Um, they really find unique ways to use like little pieces, square pieces and, and debug items to create really cool structures. This is kind of perfect for a modern home um, it's not a working fireplace you can't um, set it on fire but it basically you'll see in a sec but it it uses one of the city living I don't know what is it like a coffee table kind of thing um, to create a flame effect and it just looks really nice it was it was a bit complicated it's one that took a little longer for me to do but I mean maybe that was just me um, but to be honest it's it's so worth it in the end because it's a really nice feature that I don't know it's just it's really unique I wouldn't I would never have thought to do this myself so I don't know how people come up with things like that but yeah, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please, please, please check out the description and watch all of the original videos from the creators for even more tips and just to see how you do these in a bit more detail. I didn't want to go into how I actually created them because again, it's not my idea. I want to give credit to the original Simmer, but um. If you liked this video, if you would want to see more from me, then please subscribe, leave a comment down below with some of your ideas and suggestions. Um, give it a like if you did like this video, but otherwise, uh, I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.